Hi guys, this is Miss Lollipop and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. So we are back with another mods video, of course. I love making these for you guys um, and you seem to really like them, which is great. <laughs> uh, so today I'm gonna to be bringing you all of my mods. So the way I play my game is ultra realistic. Um, I like to make the game a bit harder than what it normally is, you know. Yeah, basically any realism mods I absolutely love. So you're gonna find a lot of realistic mods and a lot of like gameplay mods in this collection. So these are all the mods that I use in my game and I've also included any settings in case I've like tweaked it. So you can go ahead and download those just so that you can have um the exact same mods that i used you know and the exact same settings as well so it's pretty much exactly the same um and of course the link to this tumblr page will be down in the description so i want to go ahead and jump right in today's video structure is going to be a little bit different to usual so just because i have so many mods honestly i'm not even kidding look at this page it is stacked full um i can't cover every mod it's physically impossible so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go through each mod together um but we're gonna i'm only gonna cover like my favorite features of each mod i just sort of want to be able to uh tell you about each mod and you know you guys can pick and choose which one you want to download if you guys like these kind of videos remember to go ahead and hit that like button subscribe if you are new and also hit that notification bell and you get notified every single time i upload which means you never miss any of these videos i do a lot of these on my channel so you can go ahead and check those out in the top right hand eye um i'll have a playlist where you can find all my mods or my cc as well and yeah i really really hope you guys enjoy today's video so of course the first mod has to be mc command center it's my absolute favorite mod some of my favorite features of mc command center are that it adds story progression which i know is already in the game but honestly it's a much better version of story progression so i prefer the mc command center version you can see i've also got my notifications turned on so you can see what all the uh neighbors are doing so you know what sort of drama the neighbors are getting up to i love that i love being there for the tea and you can also go ahead and download my settings for MC Command Center as well so that you can have the exact same settings that I've got um, and your game will, you know, run the same way. One of my other favorites is Wonderful Whims. Some really cool things about this mod is that it allows your Sims to have a menstrual cycle, which also affects their fertility. Your Sim can take a fertility test on the toilet and they'll get a result back to show how fertile they are at that time. You can also go ahead and have a look at their period tracker, which is on their phone, and it will tell you when they're most likely to be fertile. And you also have to go to the store and make sure you've bought, you know, tampons or... Uh, or birth control that might affect, you know, your sim getting pregnant. There's also some really cool other features like attractiveness and some other stuff about relationship and impressions. So each sim is slightly different depending on their traits. And again, for wonderful whims, you can go ahead and download my settings um, and have the exact same version that I've got in my game as well. We've got the relationship and pregnancy overhaul mod. Now this mod is absolutely huge, so it's gonna be very difficult to cover everything in it. But some of my favorites are that your Sims can actually ask about fertility or ask about protection. See if they've got any condoms on them or see if your Sims on birth control, which I really like. There's also an option uh, to adopt and it sends you through like an adoption process that's, that's way better than the in-game one. You can also ask a Sim if they want children and each Sim will have different preferences, whether they want children or not. Obviously every Sim gets pre-chosen a preference to having children, but you can actually go ahead and change it if you want to. So if you want your Sim to want to have kids, you can do that. And there's also some other really cool things where your Sims can have a preference uh, pregnancies through surrogacy or your sim can actually be the surrogate for somebody else which i really really like so the sim spawn overhaul mod is a little bit hard to describe but some of my favorite things that come in the mod is that new sims actually walk past your house which i really really like so you, you're gonna see you know more people than just like i don't know nancy lamb grab walking past your house you know <laughs> and it also spawns in strays in other worlds so for example in sulani you could also get strays spawn in which i really really like you might also get dog walkers as well this mod also st stops elders and ghosts spawning in the nightclub which honestly we needed this like the game should have included this anyways. And it also means that um, Sims that are walking around the neighborhood will be walking around in their everyday outfits instead of um, instead of random, you know, outfits. You know, normally you walk out and some Sims wearing like some wacky outfit. Well, this mod tries to reduce that. The tiny details mod is a must have for Creator Sim. It is in each category where you can have multiple different options. Sometimes when you try and put a skin on a Sim and then you try and add eyelashes, it takes off the skin on the Sim because they actually are in the same category. So what this does is it actually shows you where each category is and you go ahead and scroll down and you can see the mouth crease. So everywhere between the forehead crease and the mouth crease, that's all one section. The, basically this mod makes it so that you can easily see each category in skin details or tattoos or whatever it is. So you don't, you know, take off a piece of CC on a Sim when you're trying to add something else. The UI Cheats extension mod is a must have in your game if you play the way, same way that I do. 
Sometimes I want to just take some really nice screenshots. So for example, I want the weather to change, to be sunny instead of it raining, you know? You can also set the game time. So if you want it to be nighttime versus daytime, you also can. And sometimes when your sim really needs to go to the toilet, but you know, you're in the middle of storytelling or you know, the toilet's like 50 miles away, you can just go ahead and click on their needs and cheat them up as well. So Carl's gameplay overhaul mod is again, a massive mod. It'd be too difficult to cover in this type of video. It would need its own video to be honest. Um, but it adds a bunch of different things. For, for one, it adds burglars. It overhauls the fishing in game. It also makes it so that your Sims develop relationships slower. Um, dates now depend on how sims feel and not just strictly based on goals as well the carl's gameplay overhaul mod also makes your game a lot harder uh, for example in careers your income will be cut in half so if you want to go ahead and turn any of those features off you can just click on your mailbox and you can change any of the difficulty settings as long as you set them back to easy that will be base game and for the carl's gameplay overhaul you can also go ahead and turn like my settings i would suggest this if you're going to use all of my mods because some of the carl's gameplay overhaul settings also conflicts with some of the other mods that i've got so i specifically have to turn off some settings so i would recommend downloading my version as well okay and lastly is the dine out reloaded mod basically what it does is it fixes this restaurant so that you actually get your food and people don't just stand around and do nothing you know you don't have to like wait 50 years to get served at a restaurant which i absolutely love and you know the ways is actually come over and you get your food um in about like two or three hours which is you know, pretty reasonable in The Sims. <laughs> All right, so moving on to the interactions. I've got the social interactions pack. This one's by Kiara Sims 4 Mods. The version that I've actually got is the bottom, is the version of the bottom just here, where you can download the merged interactions. So I have all of them. She also has a romance interactions with a bunch of new romance options. And also some of the interactions also have uh, moodlets that you get with them or the Sim actually replies with their own feelings about the situation, you know? And there's also the contextual social interactions mod, which adds a lot of different um, interactions in as well. A bunch of new death interactions, divorce and breakups, uh, graduation, university acceptance, pregnancies, complaining about homework, talking about new partner, loads of different things, which I absolutely love this. All right, so moving on to my favorite section, which is the gameplay mods. So first up is the education overhaul mod. This is a mod that basically overhauls the complete education system in The Sims. You actually get preschool, you get to send your toddlers to preschool during the day, which is so useful. And it also builds their skills as well. You can also send your Sims off to boarding school, which is amazing. There's also a bunch of changes to homework. You can also work on particular skills when you're doing your homework as well for your kids and your teenagers. Your kids can also get detention. Your Sims can also go and field trips your kids also get summer break now so during the summer they won't have to attend school but you can send them back if you want to next is the healthcare redux mod this is a whole mod that adds in sicknesses illnesses uh chronic conditions allergies a bunch of different things it also adds in the ability for your sims to get vaccinations for these as well so they can't get sick some of the diseases can actually kill your sims which is really interesting so if you don't end up getting a sickness uh, treated quick enough your sims can actually die of it when you download this make sure to go ahead and download the functional items because you will need to go ahead and download the medicines so that when your sims get sick you can treat them with the medicine as well all right so the next one is the summer camps mod now this is a really really fun mod it basically makes it so that during summer your sims can sign up to a camp. This one works as a really good add-on to the education overhaul mod. So when your sims have summer break, they're obviously not gonna go to school during the summer. You could choose to send your kids off to summer camp instead. You can sign up to any camp you want. There's art camp, band camp, sports camp, space camp, wilderness camp. Whilst your sims are off at camp, they actually build skills depending on what camp you send them to. For example, sports camp, they'll end up improving their motor skill. Next up is the venue lot fees and memberships. This makes so that you can add a lot tray on community lots that's called venue fees which makes it so that when your sims arrive there they actually have to pay to use that lot so for example if you apply the lot tray to a gym your sims will be charged when they turn up to the gym you can also invest in a membership so that when you go to the gym it actually costs less or for example the spa or when you go to entertainment for example cinema or bowling alley and things like that toddlers also get to go free and children get a 40 percent discount and university students get a 20 percent discount as well for the family therapy mod um, uh, focuses on therapy and cognitive behavioral therapy. Your sims can go to family therapy, they can go to grief counseling, they can go to couples counseling and also support groups as well. You can go ahead and use your phone and open it up and there'll be a family therapy and support services option. And then from there, if your sim is eligible to go to a support group or to a therapy consultation, they'll be able to go. You'll only be able to send your sims here if they have a particular moodlet, for example, they're grieving because a sim died or they're going through relationship problems or they've just had an argument with their significant other. There's some really interesting 
interesting ones and it also opens up a bunch of interactions for your sims you can discuss reasons before for poor relationship you can argue about work you can argue about their parenting styles there's loads of different things this mod also works with the healthcare redux mod and the base mental drugs mod for example with addictions that come from base mental drugs or for anxiety postpartum depression or seasonal affective disorder that comes from the healthcare redux mod speaking of the base mental drugs mod this is a really really fun mod that features drugs animation altered walk styles moods needs one of my favorite things is you can actually set up a drug dealer and you can go and speak to the drug dealer and order drugs for example cannabis and obviously with that they now own some weed and they're going to need to roll it so your sim can go on the computer or they can go on their phone and they can go on a shop and get um you know cigarettes or a bong or rolling papers to actually smoke it and then your sim can just chill you know light up a cigarette or light up a blunt or whatever they're doing and smoke away is honestly a really really fun mod to play around with and this mod also includes the ability for your sims to get drunk which i really like for when your sims are actually drinking because in the sims your sims can just drink and they don't get any like negative effects but with this your sims can actually get addicted and they can also get hung over as well so next up is the cars collectibles mod now this mod actually isn't available yet it's in early access but will be available soon pretty much all it does is so that when your sims turn up to a new venue plants will have already have grown before your sims get there so you don't have to wait around for like a cherry tree to grow. You can just go and like harvest it straight away, which is really, really great for a rags to riches game. Next up is the give me some talent mod. What this does is it actually randomizes at creator sim a bunch of different skills that your sims can get. It can be like good at rock climbing or bad at wellness or bad at juice fizzing. The toddlers and the children can actually be really good at a skill if you developed it early on in their life. For example, if you had your children paint a lot, you can expect them to be good at painting they'll improve their painting skill quicker than a normal sim if they're bad at something then their skill will increase slower than the average sim so we've got the school activities by kiara sims 4 mods again and these are a bunch of different off school activities for kids there's the ballet club basketball club cheerleading debate club karate you can go ahead and install these and your your children and your teenagers can go to these after school activities and they'll improve their skills while they're there next up is the career overhaul mod which is a really really big one for me i really enjoy this this mod is basically an overhaul of the game's careers it makes them more difficult and more engaging the mod crunches down a lot of the pay rates at lower levels it also makes it so that your sims actually earn more when they're like level 10 of their career it realigns the top level of pay rates to better align with careers in real life it also adds in different game requirements, higher skill requirements and promotional goals like degrees, friends and fame levels. So the language barriers mod is a really interesting mod. It adds the ability for each sim to speak a different language. When you go ahead and place your sim in a world, they actually become a native of that world. For example, if you place your sim in Sulani, there'll be a, tok a Toki Sulani native, which means they can speak that language. There's seven different languages as well. Your sims won't be able to say much to sims who can't speak their language, but your sims can actually learn the other languages. Okay, the next mod is a must have. This is the Granny's Cookbook mod, and I've also got the bulk recipe download in Included in this it allows you to go to your fridge or also buy a book and you can cook custom foods depending on what recipes you download you'll get a bunch of different options and um, next we're covering the delivery services which is kind of like an add-on to the granny's cookbook mod this allows for your sims to order a delivery of the granny's cookbook foods uh you can order the granny's bakery delivery the komarebi cuisine or the hungry plum bobs fast food with the granny's bakery it pretty much has a bunch of different bakery things like a bunch of different cakes that you can order as well which is so great when you order it on your phone a delivery person will turn up it will be in a box and you can go ahead and open the box it will be in your inventory and then you can just go ahead and pop it on the table and eat it it's so good next mod is the choose your roommate mod one of the big things about this mod is it allows you to select your university roommates so if you want to set up a big dorm and add a bunch of like custom sims in to be your roommates you can the next mod is the ultrasound scan mod it allows your sims to go to a gynecologist and do an ultrasound scan this is only available when your sim is in a second or third trimester they'll pay to go and when they go there they'll come back and they'll also find out how many babies they're having and also uh, what genders the babies are as well they also come back with this really really cute ultrasound scan picture which you can put on the wall i absolutely love it all right so next up is the first impressions mod so when your sim goes up and introduces themselves to another sim they'll get a first impression on them and depending on whether it's a good first impression or a bad first impression will depend on whether their relationship goes up or goes down so for example my sim found this other sim annoying and that meant that they had a sentiment of dislike that means their relationship would go up 
and it would also go down quicker. So the open love life mod is honestly a new one that I've found, but I've fallen in love with. It allows for your sims to now become uh, three sim couples, have exclusive relationships with approved side lovers, also be able to uh, refuse or accept arrangements as well. So on your sim, you can actually select the open love life option and then you can change their preferences. Each sim will be randomly assigned a preference, but if you want to change your sim's preference, you can. This allows for you to select what's, what romantic relationship your sim will prefer. Non-exclusive, exclusive, or they can be indifferent, so they wouldn't really care either way. The Road to Romance mod pretty much adds a romance skill so that when your sims are really bad at the skill, they're less likely to be accepted in romantic interactions. When you improve the skill up to like level 10, for example, your sim will get like new interactions and also they'll pretty much be approved for every romantic interaction that they do as well. Basically, nobody will turn them down because they're so smooth. <laughs> so Rex's custom club activities adds in a bunch of custom activities that you can use in clubs. Depending on what packs you have, depend on what club activities you can download but there's so many good ones and you can make some really really interesting clubs in game next up is seriously's complete cooking overhaul mod this is a complete overhaul of all things cooking it changes all ea aspects of cooking and make them feel more realistic and, and immersive it expands ea recipes it adds custom recipes and it also adds a bunch of custom ingredients one of the major things is because they overhauled the ea recipes when you actually go to go serve up food you notice it's really expensive if you go grocery shopping and you have all the ingredients for example if you're gonna make a mac and cheese you'll need pasta you'll need the cheese you'll need milk and things like that like actually realistic mac and cheese if you've got all of those then it will be completely free to make so next up is the sn bank mod this makes it so that your sims can have their own bank and you can store their money there you can go on your phone and select sim national bank and then you have to pay a 20 pound deposit to be able to open the main account and from there you can just add in your household funds to your bank account the next mod is the sn bank bills mod a massive overhaul of the bills system it splits water sewers electricity trash cable internet cell phone and property taxes all separately when your sims first move into the house you'll have to pay for their bills if you if you don't pay for example their electricity you won't be able to have any lights on in the house it's a really, really cool aspect. And it also makes bills much more expensive, which I really like. And the SM Bank Financial Center is an adjacent mod to the SM Bank mod. So you need both of them in game to be able to use it. But it pretty much allows you to place your own bank down and also be able to take out loans, which I really, really like. You don't get approved for a loan if you don't have enough money in your bank account. And also you don't make enough money from your job. So you have to have a good standing credit to be able to get a loan as well. The door no notification mod, as it sounds, adds a knocking notification that you get when somebody knocks on your door. This cuddle in bed mod is so cute. Your sims just cuddle up to each other in bed and they also get a really, really cute mood like afterwards as well, which I really like. This character values overhaul mod is exactly as it sounds. It overhauls the character values for your toddlers, children, and teenagers in game. It makes every trait impactful and also that makes for better gameplay as well. Each sim normally starts off with some bad character values, so you'll have to work on improving them. And also it's harder to improve them as well. If your sim gets a bad character value and they age up with it they'll also get a really bad trait and it'll impact a bunch of different things how they do in their career and everything this mod makes it so that it's harder for your sims to get accepted into university and they might actually be declined to go to uni more often which i really like because not everybody gets into uni in real life this mod actually makes university cost more which means that when your sim actually goes to university they'll have to pay a lot more for their classes it means they're most likely to take out a loan which i really like as well and this mod also makes us that your sims get higher scholarships if you go ahead and install the the one where it makes university cost more then i definitely recommend the higher scholarships as well just so that if your sim does get a scholarship they're more likely to get like a free ride or something this mod makes us that your sims can go for a jog together you can have your sims ask to follow for a jog your sims will go down and they'll actually be able to say no thanks or yes to going on a jog and if your sims do end up agreeing to going on a jog you can go ahead and select your sim and click go jogging and the other sim will follow them and they'll go on this cute little jog together which i really like all right the next mod is a followers for fame mod which basically means that your sims will automatically earn followers when they sell paintings publish books um existing sims will also get given followers depending on their fame rank you also earn a ton of followers and your fame rank increases and you'll lose some of them if it ever goes down as well. This next mod basically makes it so that your sims can complete their term paper and presentation faster. I've got my university set to 200% harder than normal. And if you go ahead and download my MC command center settings, you'll have the same thing. So this mod is a must have. It makes it so that your sims complete their presentation or do their university homework two times faster than the normal speed. This mod is a really small one, but it basically just changes the option on the season length from 20 
28 days to 21 days. 28 days is too long, but the 21 days is like perfect. This homework tweaks mod makes it so that your Sims can complete their homework faster. Uh, this is included for children, teens, and university students. I've got the 50 minutes version of each one, which means that in game, it's normally 100 minutes or 150 minutes. It'll now be 50 minutes for both of them. So this mod is an absolute must have. It's called release all the ghosts and get urns. When you have an urn, you can go ahead and click on it and release all ghosts. This is incredibly important if you do legacy gameplay because a bunch of ghosts store up in your game and they don't automatically delete. There's also the option to get urn four. So if you like to make a graveyard for your legacy family, you can also get an urn for a specific sim so that you can place their gravestone in your graveyard, for example. Um, that's if, you, you know, the sim didn't die when you was on the lot with them. The next mod is called the Famous Sims Game Followers Automatically, and it's exactly as it sounds. Your Famous Sims will also gain followers automatically. <laughs> this mod makes it so that your sims can complete their degrees in less credit. Basically, it makes it so they don't have to go to university anywhere near as much. I've got the eight credit version, which is perfect because it means that your sims can go for two weeks if they do four classes, which is the max amount of classes, and they'll complete university in two weeks, which is great. So next up is the vegetarian overhaul mod and also the lactose intolerance overhaul mod. I'm going to combine them together. Makes it so that you can actually click on your sim and have them become a vegetarian instead of actually using a trait slot for it. Now you can select it on your sim and it becomes a reward trait, which doesn't take up a creator sim slot space, which is great. People don't get to choose if they're lactose intolerant. And also, you know, I feel like being a vegetarian shouldn't really be an actual trait. <laughs> So next up is the lifestyle tweaks mod. It makes us that lifestyles are less annoying and more varied. It consists of a bunch of different modules depending on which one you want, but I've got all of them. The next mod is the less neglect lifestyle buffs. It means that negative mood looks from lifestyles will be reduced previously from three and five to one and two. Because honestly, your sim can get so upset just because they're doing something that isn't in their lifestyle, especially when they get a lifestyle that they just shouldn't have. I feel like sometimes my sims get like the technophobe lifestyle just because they haven't watched the TV in a day. Next mod is the socialization adds sentiment tweaks. It makes it more likely that when your sims are socializing together, they'll get sentiment. The next mod is the trait overhaul mod and it makes the existing traits more meaningful. Sims will do better or worse in careers or at school or university based on their traits. They'll also influence autonomy and skill gain as well. Next up is the whim overhaul mod. It's an overhaul of the EA whim system, which enhances the chances of family based whims and turns down whims to buy new stuff. It also adds in a few custom whims like pregnancy, elder life stages, childhood phases. For example, my sim really wanted to play in the sand because she loves the outdoors. That's a new whim that she would never have normally have gotten without the mod. Next is the more traits in creator sim and this allows for you to select up to five traits for your young adults and also makes for a lot more gameplay and your sims to be a lot more varied and you know interesting sims <laughs> the better build my mod is a absolute must-have it allows you to turn on debug or turn on move objects on without ha actually having to type anything in the cheats bar which is so useful for me because i always forget the debug option it also makes it so that um debug is also organized as well by packs which is really great so next up is the better eco power and it does exactly what it says on the tin it makes it so that when you actually buy something that will produce power in game it'll produce more power than normally in game i've got the three times version and i've also got the better eco water as well and again i have the three times version you only have to have like one or two water collectors to supply to the whole house next is the longer parties and more guest mod this allows for parties to go on endlessly until you finish them and quit them and it also allows you to invite any guest in the world it does mean that when you're loading the guest list it's really long and it takes forever for them to load in but if you want to go through and select you know your cousins and people that you've never met um that would you know normally be invited to a real life party you can just go ahead and do that it's so perfect for family gameplay all right so the more selectable icons mod is up next this does as it says you get to select a bunch of new icons this you can use this on clubs or holiday traditions a bunch of different things you'll also might need this mod for a few different save files as well and lastly is the iphone 11 pro default replacement in game makes it so that the in-game phone is replaced with the iphone 11 pro and i've also got the black version the next mod is the should stop mod fixes this is super super important if you guys use save files it adds in a bunch of different fixes that the game automatically introduces so yeah i would suggest installing all of these um it fixes a lot of saves a lot of times when i've got a broken save file if i use these fixes it sorts them right out you don't need to do anything with them they automatically work in the background of your game so this mod is the toddler stranger fix it makes it so that when your sims meet meet a stranger 
they can actually uh, give them a friendly introduction. Normally, when your Sims meet a stranger, they can't say anything to them, which is really weird. I tried to make my toddler meet their uncle, and they couldn't meet them because they were a stranger, and I had to cheat their relationship up. This makes it so you don't have to do that. <laughs> and this one is the wash laundry mod. Honestly, with laundry for me, it's really broken. I try and have my Sims go and wash the laundry, and they can't. It gets stuck in the laundry dryer, or it says it's clean when it's not, or it says it's dirty when it's not. This mod just fixes a lot of the laundry issues. <laughs> all right, so moving on to the traits option, I have a bunch of different traits installed. I've got all the traits by Kiara Sims 4 mods. I've also got the emotional hobby and spa day traits by Kato as well, as well as the socially anxious trait. All of these custom traits just add so much gameplay into the game. I feel like the traits can get really repetitive that are included in the pack. So having a few extra custom traits are great. And I feel like it adds a bit of variation to my Sims personalities and lives as well. The bar drinker trait is really fun. It makes it so that your Sims always want to go to the bar. They always have whims and wants to go to the bar. The charming trait is super fun. It makes it so that your Sims are just really polite and likable, you know, just kind of that charming person. And of course, the socially anxious traits makes it so that Sims will often become uncomfortable in social situations and you can also have your sim take medication to get rid of it as well i've got a bunch of different holiday traditions mod and i'm just going to go ahead and show you a few of them in game i have the wellness traditions mod and also the random holiday traditions mod i've also got the valentine's holiday tradition mod which basically means that your sims can select a valentine this one is perfect for love day of course and this one is super important, the school holiday tradition. That, so that only kids and teenagers don't go to school, but your Sims still go to work. It's perfect for when you just want to have your Sims not go to school, but you want all your adults to go to work. Because normally in game, the only option is to take it as a holiday for everyone. All right, so coming up to our last ones, we've got the events and parties. I've got pretty much all of these by Kiara Sims 4 mods. As you can see in my game, I have loads of different ones. There's the option to have a sleepover, have a baby shower. There's the option to book a housewarming party, a bowling party. You can also set up a singing gig so that your Sims will go and earn money um, by singing at a specific spot. There's a New Year's bash. There's a fishing trip. Uh, you can actually have a spooky party or a Christmas Eve party or a Thanksgiving party, retirement party. There's just so many really, really good events that I feel like should be in the game, but are just not. So these add them in as custom as custom events. There's also a bunch of custom goals for them as well. This mod is such a highly requested one, but you guys have been asking about where I get my loading screen from. It's by Starry Simmer. It's called the Cloudy Loading Screens. And I use this one just here. It's a piece of artwork that was animated and then applied it to the loading screen. I found it before I actually had it as a loading screen. I used to have it as a background for my PC and then now I've got it as a loading screen for my game. So it's perfect. And lastly are my map replacements. You guys were asking in my last video about where I got my map replacements from and I didn't want to say anything because I knew that it was coming in this video. So I was like, well, there's not really much point in me saying anything since I'm going to be covering it in this video anyways. So this adds in uh, map replacements to make the maps look so much better. Basically just makes it way more realistic and much nicer to look at so that was everything so i think i've covered every single mod that i have in my game like holy cow that was a lot of mods i am going to try my hardest to keep this page updated if i delete any mods or you know add any new mods i'll try and add them onto this mod list as well and then that way you guys can play the same game that i have as well make sure that you read the rules before you download anything as i said it's really important that you guys do this so just make sure you read that stuff before you download and make sure you read any of the instructions on the mod pages of the mods you download as well also don't come at me if your computers break as well i cannot be held accountable for broken computers i am just giving you options i am not demanding that you download everything <laughs> so i really really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did remember to go ahead and leave a like subscribe if you're new ding that little notification bell next to it and you'll get notified every single time i upload if you like videos like this i do a lot of these on my channel so i hope you'll stick around and i will see you all in my very next video i love you guys so much and i will see you all later bye guys